All right. Well, at first you notice that subway map, and I'm going to show you here how this confusion kind of continues, but I want it in a more conceptual fashion. So this diagnostic algorithm for ILD helps marry the key things that we always engage in in any approach in medicine. The first is really our clinical suspicion for whatever the underlying disease process is. And the second is the integration of the objective data. And what this slide has done is shown you that process. So when we have a patient with a suspected ILD, our first uh, role is really just a history and physical. And then we ask, our, uh, we ask ourselves, is there a high suspicion for IPF, some suspicion, or a low suspicion? The most powerful tool that we have is the high resolution CT scan. I'll talk a little bit more about that. And, but the first part is identifying if there are other causes and then integrating that into the data and then integrating the possible patterns that we see on that CT scan to make a diagnosis. Now, on the next portion of the build, you see that there's an integration of the green line, if you will, which incorporates the clinical suspicion with the CT data to help build out a possible diagnosis. Now, if the CT scan is consistent with the usual interstitial pneumonia pattern, you'll notice that with a high suspicion, we move directly to a diagnosis of IPF. Whereas if there's only some suspicion or only a possible UIP pattern, we move into considering a biopsy by video assisted thoracoscopic approach. And then on the red line, if there's an inconsistent pattern on the CT scan, this is where we're gonna consider alternative diagnoses.